Let's unfy. Now let me take you through few key terminologies related to hypothesis testing. Null hypothesis. It is the hypothesis which we are trying to disprove. It can also be said as the default assumption. For example, in judiciary it is assumed that every accused is innocent until proven guilty. In our case, we assumed that there is no problem in production line and the population mean is 60 ml. It's also written as one of the principles followed in formulating a null hypothesis is if null hypothesis gets accepted then there won't be any change in status quo. So in our case, if we are able to prove that the shampoo bottles indeed have 60 ml shampoo in them, then null hypothesis gets accepted and status quo remains. That is, no corrective measures are required. Single tail versus double tail test. Like in our example, we can't have a sample of shampoo bottles which have a very high or very low mean of shampoo in it. We want just 60 ml of shampoo in every bottle. Here the rejection zone is on both sides of the normal distribution. If you notice, the alpha gets equally distributed on both sides in double tail tests. Whereas there will be situations where we would want to conduct single tail tests. For example, on an average a call to a call center should get answered in 40 seconds or lesser. It should not be answered in more than 40 seconds. Here, the rejection zone is on just one side of the curve and hence we have to conduct a single tail test. So I hope by now you understand how you can compare the average of one variable with a standard number which was 60 ml in our case. This is called single sample hypothesis testing.